Hello everyone, so back on this uh, roof again, going to do a bit more today. I spent the last part of the day yesterday just uh, cutting these um, rafters which are going to go up uh, to trim these V-luxes out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on. Um, today's a very special day because uh, I've got some new shoes, new shoe day. So we're going to have additional levels of comfort and traction today. So I'll try and set a camera up and so you can see me putting those in. Non più dry farfalon yamoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini, I'm just going to put the, I've cut these uh, trimmers that um, finish off making up the opening for these V-luxes and I just thought I'd quickly show you what I've done uh, just to keep them all in a nice straight line and this steel did actually end up with a slight bow on it like I said structural steel not the end of the world um, so rather than put the windows in measuring, measuring off this beam which then the windows um, would follow the beam and, and slightly be out of line and um, because there's four windows in a line here what I've actually done is taken my measurement at each end and then uh, pinged a line all the way through there in the chalk line so basically what that means is all those windows will uh, line up perfectly all the reveals will look lovely and straight so this is a little tip there just keep so v-luxes when you've got one v-lux it doesn't really matter but maybe two or three it's nice to get them in line so I can get on and stick those trimmers in now Quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color, non più brai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, non più drai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle turbando al riposo. So you can just about see there now that that's all of those rafters cut in, uh, both the lower sections are in, the top sections are all in, all the V-luxes are trimmed out for, so that's looking really, really neat and tidy. So the next job I'm looking at doing is getting a uh, plate height for the brick layer so that you can put a plate on so I can do that flat roof section. There's a galvanised lintel that's going on the external brickwork here that um, the joinery guy has asked me to have a look at or wants us to have a look at um, because he's got to make this oak framed gable window that goes in there. So hopefully the steelwork guy's coming this afternoon. I'm going to have a quick chat with him. Um, and we can work out to make that window, get that window exactly the right size. I've got an ease detail I've got to create on here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to have to sort of bolt some timber sort of noggings into the web there to take a rafter end detail and then a bit of soffit and then a barge board. Um, but I'll have a look at that as I, as I sort of come to it. But yeah, overall, the main sort of rafter part of the job is kind of done there now. So I'm really pleased that that's done. It looks absolutely great and uh, probably I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up now actually look the place looks like a blooming bombs hit it so uh, I'll get this place sort of squared up get a nice clean and tidy for the next the next phase 
non più vrai quel cappello non più vrai quella chioma non più vrai quell'aria brillante non più vrai a colonia amoroso notte giorno di torno dorato delle belle tramando a riposo ma ci sei stato tipo d'amor delle belle tramando a riposo ma ci sei stato tipo d'amor che rovino alla vittoria alle gloria militar che rovino alla vittoria alle gloria militar alle gloria militar alle gloria militar come just easy just pull the trigger Woohoo! nice so as you can see, I just solid blocked in between those rafters there. What that does is um, stops them getting up to mischief if they want to move or twist. And the other thing that's really, really handy here is uh, obviously I fitted, fixed the rafters uh, into them, nailed them in. But again, because the guy, the steel guy has been sort of so uh, conscientious about the guys that have got to come behind him, um, you know, he's drilled this out, stagger drilled it out. So I've been able to just screw straight through this, the web of this steel. So. I know I've said it once already, but when you get someone that um, not only is doing their own job, but they're thinking about, you know, making it easy for the guys that come behind them, it's a real treat. So I've marked across, we've got a wall plate to go on here, the bricklayer's coming to do that, so I've levelled him, um, I've levelled him a mark across and fixed a baton on there so that he can get that exactly right. Um, and the next job I'm going to be doing is having a look at extending these rafters to the outside of um, the outside of this steel because we've got uh, the bifolder doors go in the steel uh, there's another steel lintel to go in the line of brickwork and that takes the gable window above it and I've got to try and get my roof out over the top of it and normally we'd cantilever it back but uh, to the next uh, rafter but we can't in this instance because that's steel so hopefully I'm gonna there's enough space at the bottom here for me to cantilever it out each end and then I'll work out how I'm gonna support the top I think that might be the next job I'm gonna do